87, 88. Oh, hi, I'm Steve Thompson, president of Emory 89, Emory Thompson Machine and Supply Company, and welcome to our series, Make It Fresh. Today, we're gonna to show you how to make fresh watermelon sorbet. And in our continuing series, we're gonna show you how to make the freshest of sorbets, ice creams, Italian ices, and gelatos. So while I get this prepared and the other ingredients put together, we'll take a little break and we'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I've got all my ingredients together and my formula calls for 12 ounces of sugar. That's just plain old sugar from the supermarket. Nothing fancy. There's no difference between the Domino sugar and the plain store brand except the cost. They come out of the same factory. So just buy the cheapest plain sugar you can. It dissolves very nicely in water and we're gonna use uh, one and a half quarts of water and we'll just uh, stir that up a bit to dissolve the sugar. Sugar dissolves very nicely in cold water. And I hollowed out my melon, half of my melon, and I have uh, one and a half pounds of melon pieces ready to go into the machine. So we'll just give that a little stir. No artificial anything, no chemicals, no additives. Uh, sorbet or Italian ice is fat-free, cholesterol-free, sodium-free. You can make it all natural like this. And uh, having our factories down here in Florida now instead of next to Yankee Stadium, I can tell you it gets real hot here in the summer. And where ice cream can make you thirsty and too high a fat can make you sweat, Sugar water is always going to cool you off and refresh you. So we're going to use the, the new CB200, the newest addition to the Emory Thompson family. This makes, um, this makes three quarts at a time. And I'm going to pour this in. All right, let me go back and get my fruit. And we'll start pouring this in. I might drop a little. What I'll do is I'll turn this on so it can start heading down there. Can you see this? The fresh fruit is going right into the machine. Don't try this with any other machine because you'll just void your warranty. They're not designed to do it. Isn't that nice? Let me get a little more. The whole thing here is fresh fruit. got kind of an insatiable appetite. I could just keep pouring it in all day long. Now, that was a seedless uh, watermelon. So where are the seeds? How are you going to eat watermelon without seeds? Wait a minute, I got an idea. I know how to get some seeds. Maybe we won't use real seeds. Maybe we'll use, oh boy, my favorite, Giardelli, Giardelli uh, mini chips. Now, wouldn't that be great? It's going to be this uh, nice watermelon product with the seeds in it, but the seeds will be chocolate chips. So let's just pour the chocolate chips in there. I'll save a little bit for me. And let's turn on the timer on this. Set it for about, oh, 16 minutes. And we'll come back in about 15 and a half minutes and see how it's doing. This is ready, so let's, uh, we'll head a schedule. We'll turn off the refrigeration, open the gate, and there she comes. Oh, that's a nice product. And look at the, look at the chips in there. Isn't that great?
Oh, that's a beautiful product there. Now I pulled this a little on the stiff side so I could show you restaurateurs that you can make it right now and serve it immediately to your customers. Or you can pull it out a little softer, get it out of the machine faster and put it in your freezer and have it for this evening's dinner, whatever you choose. Let me just go over here and show you a couple things. I'll, I'll come back over. This is watermelon Italian ice. We eat that with a squeeze cup and we can get about $1.50 for that portion. Mmm, we squeeze it up from the bottom. And you restaurateurs, that is going to be a beautiful little sprig of mint here. Watermelon sorbet dessert, maybe $5. Isn't that great? So it's the same product, sorbet, Italian ice, it's all the same. It's just what you want to call it. I hope you get to try that all fresh, all fun, and come back again. We'll be doing more fresh fruits.